Hi, my name is Maddie, and today I want to talk to you about a practice that I've been doing for a long time, which is painting from life, painting everyday moments. It started a little bit from my other project called The Homes of Tulsa, and I have a bunch of leftover papers like this, so I started to kind of incorporate that in my kind of daily art practice. Okay, maybe not daily because I don't do it every day. It's very hard to do every day. <laughs> but incorporating into kind of my sketchbook work and exploring a different way of working, which I normally do like pen and watercolor, but a lot of this is kind of leaning into just watercolor, just based off the paper and its consistency and texture. So I have my pile of watercolor little papers that I've developed over, I think this is about a year. My favorite thing about this practice is I really get to appreciate the moment that I'm in. I get to take the time to just sit and paint and that's all I have to do. Just concentrate on painting for, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Like these paintings I did in New Mexico. This one I did on the mountain after hiking. This one's from a garden here in town in Tulsa, and I really wanted to capture this beautiful light. And I stood for like five minutes just to capture this. I like to drive different places and park and find different spots, explore. And you don't have to go very far to do these. Like this is a house in my neighborhood, and I just sat down and did this drawing for, you know, a few minutes and just really taking the time stop and pause and appreciate this moment. Like this, I wanted to capture the sunset light right, right when it was hitting. Here is tulips at the botanical garden and kind of capturing that. I did a much bigger scene of this later. Here's for when I took a trip to my friend's lake house. So that was the journey up and this is the lake house. These are some of my favorite sketches. Oh wait, not this one. <laughs> this one, I just, I got up early um, before everyone else and got a chance to paint this. This one was fun because I did it on the overpass and really got to experiment with some masking fluid. This is the masking fluid I used. And, and it's a bit, it's a bit hard to get off of the paper, I think without like rubber um, eraser to kind of help. So you kind of need some strong fingernails to help you. This is an incomplete one I did at an airport, but see, you don't, you don't need to finish everything as well, contrary to what they tell you. This was around Christmas time and this guy with a Santa hat costume was like walking in this park and I thought it was so cute. I had to, I had to capture it. And these are just a few more of scenes from my neighborhood. I really love this one because to me, there's something so nostalgic and I don't know if you can tell, but I have a little, there's a little tire swing by this house and there's just something so sweet and reminds me of childhood or something. So I always like to draw this house. This one I did in one of my painting in my neighborhood series. So I have a full video of this painting, but I just, I love the, the brick and the style of this architecture. This one is also one of the paintings behind me. I did this one again because I liked it so much, mm -hmm. but I like taking a certain walk and I walk by this house a lot and it always so happened to be like around sunset when I get to it and just the lighting is so, so beautiful and I don't do it justice in this, but it's gorgeous. This I visited my friend in San Antonio and drew her and her mom in their pool. These sketches are from when my family and I vacationed in Hawaii, and it was so, so beautiful and gorgeous. And I'm kind of in a landlocked state, so I don't get to draw up water or the ocean a lot. So I had a lot of fun doing that and just capturing these really, really nice, beautiful scenes, including like a waterfall we went to and just the beach and all the people. Like, I really love this because um, people were jumping off the rock there and and because of the time change my schedule was out of whack so I would wake up at like five in the morning but that gave me a really nice opportunity because I got to watch the sunrise 
and be up at that time and captured this kind of light. And it was just, it was so beautiful. I'm definitely, I'm definitely a morning person. I've learned. And I always like to go to bars or coffee, capturing people working. I really like the architecture and getting all the wood beams. This I was driving to work and pulled over and I just really wanted to paint this scene and it, it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to, but I, I kind of like the easy, almost amateur looking um, vibe. This, I really wanted to capture the light. It was like right at sunset and it was just turning. And by the time I finished, like this lighting was totally different. And I still did some more pen drawings. This was when I went to DC, actually, a coffee shop there. This was from the fall. I really want to get the trees and it was really foggy out. So I tried to kind of capture that, that lighting and that fog look. I did a whole video about this one. This is like the butterfly garden. I want to check that out. This is actually from the Getty. I went to a conference there and then I got food poisoning afterwards. But I really enjoyed making this one and I just have such fond memories of the Getty. I, so these are a few of the sketches that I've kind of started working on. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. <laughs> just kind of splayed out. Normally I like working in the sketchbook, but I liked the concept of this and I had the extra paper. So I thought I would do something more with it. I feel like I learned a lot by working this way and I want to do more. So eventually I will. So after watching that, I hope you took something out of it and enjoyed my work and maybe it inspired you to start your own practice of creating this. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do with this whole stack of watercolor paper, I think I'm going to keep doing it. I just don't know really how to where to put it or how to organize it quite yet. So if you have any ideas, let me know and I'll see you guys soon.